All right. The camera didn't want to shut off, so I had to mount out of it. Anyway, I got some uh, cool hubcaps for a recoil. They were all bent to heck, so I had to knock the dings out of them. And just little things that I've been working on. Uh, got his front bumper done, at least a temporary one. So that's all ready to go. And I've been busy on my truck. Uh, new exhaust. I redid the bed. So all the wood you see is cedar. And then the end gate right here comes out and there's a modular steel system that goes into this with the roof rack stacks on it. Now I'm doing this on my phone because I tried doing this on my other camera and it didn't seem to want to cooperate with me. Anyway, laser cut uh, mud flap uh, weights, steel bumper, new lights, crane in the back in case I need to pull an engine or something like the one that's inside of recoil so I can get the engine out before I work on them. But anyway, there's Lagertha. And as you can see how shiny the edge looks, that's all flex seal. And she had a bad leak up here at one point so I had to flex seal everything. At least it blends in. And she still needs to be painted. You know, here in Minnesota it's really hard to go ahead and, and get everything done when, especially when things are in storage but um i went through and i rebuilt this whole nose cone section last summer and then she sat in storage and unfortunately that didn't do her any good she was good for the winter i had her covered for the winter but um as soon as spring hit i took the cover off and she leaked up there someplace but dual awnings uh, she's a 28 footer uh, box wise, but with the front, there was an extra six foot there. So it's, uh, it's here, 28, 34 feet to the edge on top. Not real good on the math. Anyway, let's go on inside. Pop the door open. I'm getting, like I said, getting ready to go ahead and run her back into storage. So, got her all winterized now. Cool signs. All the paint was uh, free. So, I came up with red and purple. And I put all this kind of stuff in. I redid the floor because there was carpet in here and I didn't like it. So, the floor is all, uh, it's a walnut, um, tongue and groove style, uh, like hardwood floor. Um, this came out of a, the bench came out of a 2003, um, Coachman. And it folds down into a full-size bed. And, um, this came out of a, this dinette set came out of a 2008, bounder so these are both full size this is a, a standard full and then this one is a short full so for short people it's great or kids or whatever um, and i redid all the plugins wiring and everything in here redid the walls my awesome mom did these really cool curtains for me I'll spin around here those used to be beach towels but yeah, this is just my little home away from home, so to speak, once I get in, can get her out and uh, out on the road. My fridge, cool Volkswagen thing I found, all my pea stuff, you know, hippie stuff. So all, all the stuff that I put in here, like this. Obviously, you can tell I'm a Volkswagen nut. So I got the nostalgic old uh, Minnesota plates too to go with. 
and my two other curtains, those are silk. This whole top section was what I was talking about. I rebuilt it. Now you can see it got a hair bit of water damage in the corners. And uh, two, well, the one piece of stripping fell off because it just glued in. The other one popped loose. So I got to redo that come spring. This whole top section here, where you see these pieces of aluminum strip, this whole thing comes out. It lifts off so you can get in and out of here nice and easy uh, into the front. These bulkheads I redid myself as well. And there's a storage space well, about 20 inches deep on each side. Pegboard in here with the hooks. So, yeah, I can put just about anything in there that I want to. Well, pretty generic up front. Anyway, uh, I made I handmade the tabletop here. This is out of a piece of, uh, real nice piece of uh, plywood that I found. And cut it down to the original table size. Sanded it, I don't know, four, four to six hours worth of sanding and, and then uh, stain and whatnot. Um, like I said, I, I redid uh, this whole countertop system here. Again, it's plywood that I redid. Stained it, clear coated it. Um, brand new sink I put in with a brand new faucet, new plumbing. Uh, this whole thing actually stuck out to right where this is, this the step. And this was all one big chunk of granite uh, countertop in here. It must have weighed 800 pounds. So I took all of that out and redid the whole countertop system and put it all back in. Resealed the walls. Like I said, there's a lot of stuff I did in here. All the lighting is all LED lighting. So... And we did the back room. Like I said, the cool curtains that my mom did. There's my little Zoe up there when I first got her as a puppy, so I had to stick a photo up in here of her. Ceiling fan. There's my other old girl, Roxy. That's before she died. Still miss her. Now, this is a full queen size bed area back here which I got the mattress in the house at the moment. I was going to put it out here yet. Um, this is my shower. Right now, just storage, but... And I got to fix the uh, exhaust fans. My bathroom. And this is my storage for all my shampoos and shaving cream and razors and all that kind of good stuff. Um, all the count, all, all of these are actually screwed down to the wall so they won't go anywhere when you're going down the road. I redid this whole bathroom. Redid that. And mind you, this whole thing was like, this was a baby blue back here. It's now two different co colors of a uh, plum and white. And, um, it was a, just an ungodly baby blue back here. So I redid the walls in here, and then I redid everything out here because this was all um, this just horrible, horrible, funky blade, the beige, that just didn't match nothing in here. It was just ungodly, just horrible. You, you want to puke. So I redid it with the, the red and the purple, and uh, got all the paint for free, so it was just the work of doing everything, and my mom did the curtains up for me. Uh, the TV came from a garage sale. It was a freebie TV. Works great for a DVD player when you're sitting out here. Um, yeah, I uh, redid the heating system in the back and all the wiring and everything else. So, but we're just getting ready to go ahead and run her back into storage here in a little while. And um, I just thought I'd give everybody a little shout. To, let them know that I'm still around. I just have been really, really, really busy. And uh, shortly I'm going to do a video on the uh, on the Volkswagen too. So that's a coming. But anyway, thanks for tuning in. And I will catch everyone later. Uh, be safe. Stay COVID free. And um, we'll talk at you. Uh, love from the hippie. Bye now.